Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and we have some breaking news. A judge has refused to drop the civil case against, yep, you know who. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, uh, to be honest. I'm having trouble getting this news to you, and I'm literally saying nothing that should be troubling, but it should trouble you that for some reason I can't. Regardless, I'm going to try my best to speak through this. Uh, so, guys, yes, the judge has ruled in Virginia's favor, and uh, Andrew will not be able to get away with it. Do you think he's sweating now? Because I do. I definitely think he's sweating. Uh, here's what happened. So, uh, I want to break down what happened, but I also want to warn you guys, because there's something at the end of this that is troubling. And I did speak to Christopher Melcher, our attorney on hand, who gave me some feedback. And uh, it's troubling, because even though he's now forced to do this case, the civil case that's happening out of the United States, there's concern that he might just not do anything and say, okay, well, whatever, I'm not going to do it. So hold on that. We're going to get there in a second. Let's go through what happened and how this happened. So uh, as you guys know, this is a case uh, that, that's been out for a while, um, and uh, they were supposed to bring back whether it was going to get thrown out due to Jeffy's uh, settlement that happened with Virginia. Now, uh, both lawyers for Virginia and Andrew were there sort of trying to get this sorted out. But the judge um, sort of was on top of the documents better than the lawyers were. Um, uh, here it is. The judge was unimpressed by the argument made by Andrew's lawyer that claimed the prince was released from the legal jeopardy on the terms of the $500,000 settlement with Jeffy, which in itself was only unsealed last Monday. That was 2009. The agreement that Virginia agreed to forever discharge any other persons or entity could have been uh, who could have been included as a potential defendant from future legal action, Andrew's lawyer argued, was ambiguously included in the category of other potential defendants. So he was trying to say, well, yeah, yeah my client is, is clearly mentioned. Why not? Of course, this is all connected. Um, and uh, Virginia's lawyer, though, responded saying, no, there's no allegation that Andrew was involved in all this stuff. The judge seemed more interested, though, in a section of the settlement that uh, included provisions that only could be invoked by Jeffy and Virginia themselves or their agents, not by a third party such as Prince Andrew. Uh, and as Daily Beast noted in a report of the hearing, judges' approach seemed to catch both sides by surprise, momentarily flummoxing the usually unflappable Boyas, uh, who later apologized for his slowness understanding what the judge was driving at. So even if Virginia's own lawyer was just like, uh, 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 um, when he highlighted a section that specified Jeffy and Virginia agreed to the terms of the settlement were not intended to be used by any other person. Clearly stunned, uh, Brettler, again, Andrew's lawyer, report, retorted, wouldn't make sense for them to include a language releasing, to include language releasing other potential defendants if those other de potential defendants didn't have a right to use that contract as an affirmative defense. However, the judge was like, uh, 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 check out paragraph four, which says this all has to be secret. They're not going to give anybody a copy of this agreement and the terms can't be disclosed. So then how could that include someone who's not even supposed to be mentioned or included in said agreement? Therefore, case dismissed. I mean, actually, your argument dismissed. Case continues. So now we'll proceed into discovery, depositions with a full trial. Likely to happen later this year. Now, again, going back to what which was troubling to me, as um, the Daily Piece mentions here, Andrew may now conclude he has little left to lose by simply not participating any further in the trial um, and allowing the court to register a default judgment against him, the terms of which would likely be very hard to enforce. Now, that's just really shocking to read. What does that mean? So I asked Christopher Melcher, I texted him um, to get his insight as a lawyer. And again, we're not British lawyers, but it's here in the U.S. this should matter. And I asked him, like, does this mean he could just refuse the hearings and just pay whatever they deem at the end and then just not pay it? And he said, yes, he can simply not pay any judgment and see if the plaintiff can enforce, if they can enforce a U.S. judgment wherever his assets are held. He would have to convince the U.K. court to recognize the foreign judgment. If so, his assets may, may be held in trusts or entities that make it hard to collect against. So long story short, can he sort of try to, to squeeze his way out of this? Yes. Which is awful. Terrifying. Now, there is another uh, woman, another person has come forward and sort of acknowledging that the charge at hand did happen. Um, again, I got to be careful how I phrase all this to you. 
Uh, but now uh, the name has come forward. She stepped forward to sort of acknowledge what Virginia said is true. Um, there's more to that story. You have to be careful. We'll probably talk about it today in the live feed. So join us there. Along with the Jamie Lynn Spears interview. Oh my gosh, we're going to fact check that one. So don't miss that. Uh, but yeah, it's not looking good for Prince Andrew is the bottom line here. Uh, not much more to say on this. Just I want to make sure you guys had this information. I'm going to go back to reporting on my reaction to that interview with Jamie Lynn. But this was such big breaking news and important news to know he's caught. He's going to have to now face the courts. However, what's really scary is if he decides to just say, no, I'm not facing the courts. Well, that doesn't look good, man. I mean, it doesn't look good. Does anybody actually believe him when he says he can't sweat and, oh, that's a photoshopped hand? I mean, this is the same dude. Hold on, I want to make sure I have this photo. This is the same dude. Oh, yikes. A lot of, a lot of pictures with him. Here it is. This is the same dude. Well, it's, you can't see the hand here, but I don't even know if that's my hand. Dude, it's your hand. It's totally your hand. I've never met this woman before in my life. Well, here's a photo of you meeting her. Uh, I don't remember. I take lots of photos. Well, now we have a witness who's confirming, yeah, you guys met. And, you know, it's legit. Uh, uh, but I don't sweat. So you're all lying. What's so crazy, though, is the fact that the Royals have really done nothing to step up and help. Like, you'd think the Royals at this point would want to step up and condemn this person and protect the legacy, right, the, the whole thing, because... This doesn't look good. In fact, this looks awful. This is disgusting. So if he's able to go and just be like, yep, I'm not going to pursue this. I'm not even going to partake because it's so, I don't believe in anything you're saying. It's all nonsense. I'm just not even going to show up to the hearings or the depositions, whatever. Charge me whatever. Good luck cashing in. Force them to do even more holes to jump. And the royal family stays silent on that? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not okay. That's what we're going to have to all speak up and, uh, and and put the pressure on because the royal family has to do something. You'd think the royal family would demand, you know, judgment be heard. And for him to just be like, nah, I'm not going to do it. That is not right. It's not right. So, Andrew, uh, now you're, you're clearly sweating. I know you are, even though you say you aren't. You are because you've spent a lot of money on this, which the queen's not paying for anymore. Uh, this is all coming out of pocket. And now it's all piling up. So are you going to be a man and face his court? I doubt it. I doubt it because he knows he did it. And so now what's he going to do? Just try and play like, oh, I'm out of here. See you guys. I want to hear your thoughts down below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Make sure you join us today for our live show. It's going to be epic. I'm going to do a video reaction about Jamie Lynn Spears. But I'm also going to do a live roundtable Britney conversation tonight. Or today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when we're always live. We're on 1 p.m. every weekday here on Popcorn Planet.